Party time. Rad experience. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Robbie from Rad Experience. So I'm here today with my acupuncturist, Paige Barasa. I am so in love with Paige because I came to her for a physical injury, but what I discovered is that there were other things going on in my body that had just really changed my fitness life and my life. So, hey Paige. Hey Robbie. <laughs> so tell them a little bit about how, I came, how we met and how we've been together this long. Okay, so um, basically I met Robbie in one of her amazing fitness classes. You were jumping and bouncing all over. <laughs> At the end of class, you kind of mentioned to me that um, she was having a little bit of back tightness and said, you know, for class, let's stretch this out and I've got a little tightness myself. So mm -hmm. I came over and started to talk to her about acupuncture and how that really helps the body release muscular tension and kind of all over structurally aligns us orthopedically, it has so much benefit for the spine and for low back and neck stuff that I think that we all have. Mm -hmm. um, so originally that's what you came into me for. Right. Um, once we got into my practice, we kind of moved and shape shift the, uh, the treatment a little. Yeah. Okay, so I started with the two orthopedic treatments, right. and then after the treatments we realized some deeper stuff. Can you tell them a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. So um, what we kind of realized when I was looking at Robbie is, although she does have a lot of kind of tightness in her lumbar spine, and that's due to just living a super active lifestyle mm -hmm. like we do in New York, and yeah. you know, you and I are the same, just running all over all day, you know, 12 hours a day, go, 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 go. Yeah. Um, so with the orthopedic treatments, you can go in and actually release tight musculature in the lower spine. So yeah. all of those low back problems that people are having, you know, you get up from your desk and you're tight and sore, you can actually go in with acupuncture and kind of place needles in certain motor points to release that and get, you know, some sort of relief get a little less pain. What we realized with your treatments was after a couple of times of doing orthopedic treatments and releasing musculature, there was something a little bit deeper going on and right. that's when we started to assess more of the psycho-emotional aspect of back pain. Yeah, totally. And I really love that part because for me it's like I know it's New York and everybody's in therapy yeah. and I was kind of literally against it initially like going to therapy is like nothing's wrong with me but when it came up through you know our visits and other visits I was having with other people in the industry it was like okay maybe acupuncture is a way that I can respond to like emotional healing yeah so you know at the time it was a breakup for me and then you know it really did help me like you know the stuff they were doing like just kind of connecting and then this past year losing my mom the grief of that it's just yeah. like this is another option so can you talk about how like acupuncture acupuncture has like mental and emotional healing capacity? Yeah, totally. So I think that most people come to acupuncture for some sort of pain syndrome. Um, that's, I know, how it's most recognized in, in regular kind of life and media, but um, acupuncture has a deeply profound effect on the mental emotional, and that's kind of like where my heart is in treating my patients. Mm -hmm. um, what it does is it kind of works to align you and balance out what's going on in your body. So in our Western society, for example, in New York, we're so go, go, go. It's such a kind of fast paced, you know, we'll deal with that later. Yeah. We'll put it aside. Okay, something comes up. Maybe there's a trauma, a breakup, a loss. Right. And in our society, it, we don't take two weeks to grieve that. Right. We don't take time to kind of like process those emotions. So and then it like lives in our bodies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we start to kind of like hold. So that's where I was finding different holding patterns in your back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if something maybe in our emotional lives isn't so sound support wise, we can see it manifest in different parts of the back. Wow. So yeah. So that's, that's what we amazing. ended up working with. Yeah. That makes complete sense. Yeah. Okay, so clearly I'm a believer in acupuncture, and but I know people out there are freaking out about what it is and what it might cause or not cause. And for me, it's like, first thing people think is like, oh my, does it hurt? Are you gonna bleed? And it doesn't happen, right Paige? Like, no. There's no pain. So the number one thing I get is that, you know, I don't want to come and like get hurt and spend an hour and spend my money getting, like having pain. Yeah. Um, I do acupuncture on the elderly. I do acupuncture on babies. Um, mm. People, most people come in here, they fall asleep. Like, right. I mean, that was my favorite part, honestly. When I first, because we, we said earlier, like I run around, we all run around so much. It was like, I'm going to acupuncture, take a nap. Yeah. And then I leave and I feel amazing. Yeah, exactly. So you kind of get into like a nice altered state. You kind of, once the um, needles settle in in the treatment, 
takes shape, yeah. you go into this like nice little nap that's just above sleeping but totally. below consciousness. And yeah. It's kind of the acupuncture happy. That's the best way to describe it. It's like I feel like I feel rested, but I didn't feel like I was like comped out. Like totally. I know what's happening around me. Totally. So can you show us? Yeah. So basically, the needle. I'm going to show you the anatomy of a needle. But the needle goes in and. What you feel is like a teeny tiny pinch, sometimes nothing. Okay. And then what we're looking for, the feeling is um, kind of like a, a dull pressure. And that's actually the sensation of the needle hitting the chi in the point and grabbing that chi and activating it. It's, it's gaining momentum and yeah. it's getting more mainstream. But I mean, if you have any questions about it, you can Google acupuncture plus anything and there are countless studies and a ton of people using it. Absolutely. And yeah. if you're in New York, definitely come check out Paige. Come check out me. Yes, and uh, her link's down below. And of course, you know, follow me and my fun and sweaty life on Rad Experience. And that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks. That yeah. was awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Rad experience.